about a five thousand dollar storage unit. What do you think, Uncle Michael? Oh my goodness, look at all that. <laughs> Freaking insane. Look at that. Oh. A golden sapphire 2.90. Rubies. 18 karat gold ring with the 19 carats in it. A ruby, more rubies, blue sapphire. And these ones look interesting. What do we have here? Here we have a blue diamond. Look at this, what are those? Gold earrings. This is a, a one carat champagne diamond. This is more diamonds. Seven pieces of diamonds there. As a 12 karat emerald. In my opinion, there's worth over $50,000 and stuff there. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, pirates of all ages, it is I, your captain, speaking what's up. Get ready, buckle your seats, because you're about to see one of the most biggest, possible, bestest treasures I ever found. Maybe not, that's hard to say, because that's going to let you guys determine. We're about to get started real quick. Shout out to Nike. You guys see that I wear this a lot. I like this. I am not a brand name person. I don't care if it's uh, Walmart, Flucci, Gucci, Hoochie, whatever the case. I wear this for one reason. I love the phrase, just do it. It's prices. I think a lot of times in life, we hold ourselves back, and we fear we can't accomplish something, or we are not good enough. And the fact is, Nike says, is the best with just do it right sometimes you fail but when you fail you learn how to not make a mistake the next time and it's all often you just plain succeed so just do it it's the easiest way anyway we're gonna get right to it i just went to my safe deposit box that's where i've been keeping this treasure i bought this unit some time ago it's been over a year it's been almost a full year or more since i bought this storage unit maybe just about a year, and I never showed it. This is the first time I ever really got nervous when I found something. Usually, I don't think about that, right? But I've never found so many gems. I've never found so much treasure like this in one little spot. I'm a pirate, that's what we do. We hunt the seas, we go for treasures, we go, that's what we do. Uh, gold, silver, and gems, I always discuss that, right? This right here, barely, hard to find a safe deposit box that even fits. So I went and picked it up, I wanna come film, and I'm getting ready to sell this collection or i'm gonna try to make a sale that's my goal ready to buy a home if you guys have been watching my channel for some time we were homeless what just just shy of three years ago on the streets living in a hotel three dollars to my name i've showed everyone in the world how to be a storage buyer and how to succeed and make something with nothing no excuses no i didn't i didn't have a home i didn't have money barely had a vehicle had nothing so I, that shows you and it showed me showed the world anybody can do it and this is one of the best treasures i found right here and we're gonna sell it because my next goal in life is to buy a home right and i've been you guys have watched me i haven't rushed that decision it's the probably the hardest or biggest purchase i've ever made in my life want to do it right i want things to be right but it's time and so anyway let's get started we're going to check out this pile of gold silver and gems i hope you all enjoy this who you're gonna start right here what do we have? Let's see. Beautiful. This is probably a very pricey piece. Now, keep in mind, most of this, everything was bought in 2006. This is 14 karat. And these are all little beads of 14 karat inside. That is a nice, beautiful pearl bracelet. Let's keep, we're going to keep going. I'm going to show you guys each tray or each section one at a time. I don't even remember what I have because it's been so long since I packed this up and put it away. But I know there's a lot of value here. I speculated. Um, I forget what I speculated. I'll, I'll have to go through it here at the end and we'll have like a total. But look, see, 14 karat tip. And these are amazing little, what are these, uncultured pearls? I forget what, they, what kind these are. Little gold piece there. But very quality pieces. When I found this unit, I was, this is a sterling silver tip, and those are black pearls. When I bought this unit, I, I was overwhelmed. Like, it really got to me, like, this is a lot of stuff. I don't want to, I don't want to just undersell it, and I want to make sure I get my value out of it, and I have no idea what I got. And honestly, I got just slightly nervous, like, boom, look at that. There is, uh, what is that, sapphires right there? Look at that. I've never seen a necklace like this in my life. Look at all those dang sapphires. Tell me that's not beautiful. It's got a cool little clasp here. I think this is white gold. Yep, 585. Blue sapphire. Cold. Cold as ice right there. Willing to sacrifice. Whoo. And this is the type of stuff, like, as I found this in the storage unit, it really just made me like, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. 
Another beautiful pearl necklace. And I speculate each one of these things should be like a minimum 200 bucks. Maybe, I mean, a lot more. I'm just trying to be um, conservative. These were bought almost 20 years ago. You're going to see receipts here soon that are going to uh, specify what was purchased. Cute little earrings. That is one individual black pearl right there. I think some of these are like... A little bit of money just for one individual pearl. Huge pearls. I think we have a receipt coming for this one. One freaking beautiful blue stone. Yep, 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 yep. Look at this bad boy. I already know this one's going to be a fan favorite. Watch this. Look at that. Rubies. Gold beads. Never have I found anything like this before. Oh yeah, there's one more right here. One more piece in here. What do you think it is? What do you think it is? Beautiful, huh? Look at that gold clasp right there. That's pretty heavy duty. It's even got a lock. That one seems like it would be very pricey. That's the first thing to understand when you start seeing the prices is yes, there are some of them are gonna be really small, right? Now, there's a difference when you buy one piece off of a dealer and when you buy stuff in bulk, wholesale, at a fraction of the cost. That's what this person did, and we're about to see that right now. Here we have a receipt for $1,833 for basically pearls, and this is like I said, all 2006. Look, Japanese Akoya white pearl dangly earrings, 74 bucks. Genuine gem faceted kyanite brilliant 14 karat necklace, 275. Rare 13 Akoya pearl necklace, 415. Rare 250 count huge genuine fashion ruby necklace was 445 bucks in 2006. Multicolor Kaisha rosebud druzy pearl, 140, etc., etc. That is everything you see there except for we have these here too. So another 129. So there's over $2,000 in wholesale purchases right here. Another individual pearl right here. So that's kind of cool. Like I said, that's some big money right there in my eyes. Now that we've got that first tray, that's like the first one set of receipts right here. What do you guys think just off that alone? I want to hear in the comment section. While we're on pearls, we're going to go through this one here. Oh, this got damaged in my box. Wow. These ones didn't have a receipt, I don't think. Let me look real quick. Okay, necklace 705. I don't know because I'm trying to figure out. All these things are literally packaged kind of the way I found them or in there, the groups of the bags that I found. This one doesn't have a marking on it. I'll have to do some testing of it, but I was uncertain of the qualities. Of, Cause see, these ones were set in a different thing. Those ones were in one pile, all packaged together, but I believe them to still be really nice pearls. I have not had a chance to do any real research. This one's massive, really white pearls. Looks like a, a nice threaded chain there. Carrying on, we have, this was paid $43.50 at the Jewel Train Express in Fremont. So it's just kind of like pearls to, to get going on making something. I think that's what a lot of these were. They're pieces for, for making some, oh, here we go. Look, these ones had earrings in there and another necklace. Same thing here. Actually, there's two necklaces in here, it looks like. Pearls are not as exciting for some things, but just wait, I'm telling you right now, you want to stay tuned because we're just warming up. We're just warming up. Can't show all the goods right off the bat. Can't just jump right to the best. Even though the first tray was pretty good, just wait. It's going to get real interesting, real entertaining. We've got pearls, pearls, sets and sets. My goal was to try to sell this as one collection, but I'm uncertain how that is going to work out. Piecing it together is going to cost me get, wanting more per sale, naturally, because of time and energy. And what does this say? This is just a receipt for 12 millimeter Tahitian sea culture pearls. That was pretty inexpensive. In order to fit this in my safety deposit box, I had to do something to tighten it up. So I went through and I made all these things sit inside of here, like so. And they were in their own little packages and boxes and stuff like that in the storage unit. So I'm uncertain. This one is, the carrot is right, but size is wrong. I updated it and didn't change over eBay problem. Wrong, it's okay. Now these were all bagged up like this and I don't think I have a receipt in here, but they're all really, they're raw gems. They are raw gems, each and every one. I'm gonna show you each one. 
This is a beautiful pink something. Look at this emerald right here. Looks like turquoise with some silver in it or gold maybe, who knows. I have no idea what's in any of these to be honest with you. I'm gonna use my own trays for the video, spread this out, but then I'm gonna pack them back up in these little totes later on because I got to take it back to my safe deposit box after I'm done filming this. Is that a pink diamond or a ruby? All raw stones, and I have a bunch of raw stones. You're gonna see some really amazing gems here soon. Let's see if I can devise a better way to show them without taking out the, there we go, black border. Okay, we got, oh, that looks like amber right there. All raw gemstones right here. Look at this, an emerald, pretty big size too. Don't know what kind, is this a, what is this? Let's see what this note says. It says a note like it was a mistake again. Almost looks like a dang tanzanite. Nope, it's a quartz. Blue charzany along with the quartz for my mistake. Okay, so he got, somebody got this as a gift because they made the wrong, the wrong purchase or sent the wrong item. Another one of these, brilliant pieces though. Wow, look at this, we got whatever this is. Oh, wow. Now, if you guys would have found this in a storage unit and you're knee deep in getting your life together and as well, you put videos over, you're at a storage facility screaming with all these people looking at you that some of them look a little suspect, you know, driving through the storage facility, but you have all these people and you're screaming, oh my God, that's a thousand dollars. Tell me you wouldn't get a little nervous. So the first thing I did after filming this originally, and I did not show this whole collection when I bought it, was I went and I boxed it up and I took it and put it in a safe deposit box. Far out of my touch, far out of my safety, and as well so I could sleep at night. All right, look at these natural stem gems right here. All right, what do you guys think of that one tray right here? I'll go through and I'll do this later on after we're done. All right, what does this one entail here? Let's see what we got here. All right, so we have some more rocks here. I think that one matches the other one, like it was all in the same tray originally, and the little woman bagged them up like this. Look, that looks like there's freaking gold in there. It looks like there's gold in there. I don't know if it's fool's gold, iron pyrite, silver. I don't know, but I could tell you there's something inside of these three stones. Look at these. Some some raw rubies here. I could probably just show these right here. So we have this beautiful purple stone right here. It's got something inside of it. You can see the, the minerals inside of there. And see, some of these don't have receipts, so that's the hard part is I don't know. I have a lot of receipts. That one's interesting. Look, you can almost see blackness and a stone around it as well. And some of them don't have receipts, so I wanted to be sure that it was easy. Like, the ones that are in receipts, I put the whole receipt together in my safe deposit box like that so that I know how to differentiate when it's time to sell it. But it comes down to me having to list all these things at one time, then I know what I got. Here we have one. Ooh, ooh, careful, 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 pirate. Ooh, what did we just do? That's a little tanzanite, I think. That's what that looks like. We have lots of those coming. That's another nice little tray, had no receipt with it. All right, let's see what we got here. Little woman did some good job here putting things together, so I'm uncertain. Oh, I see why she did this. See, two and a third cut princess cut white sapphire. Are they in here? Oh, I see, okay, it's one paper showing all of these. So you have one carrot white sapphire right here. Then you have one carats of tanzanites right here. Can you see those? Look at all those tanzanites. And then we have four piece set of what I think is tanzanites there too. And that's kind of nice. And do we have something here? Yes, a, a, a Kobachan Montana, three quarter carats. Kobachan Montana. I don't even know what the heck that is, but it sounds pretty nice actually. It looks like a diamond. It has a look of a diamond. Such interesting things here. Now, let's get into this right here. Here we have a beautiful purple stone. Looks like an amethyst. There will be a receipt coming here in a little bit that will dis disclose all of this more. Does it work better like this? Let's stick to this. Yeah. And some of these could be lab created. It's very possible. I'm uncertain. Look at this bad boy right there. I want to break a heart. That's so beautiful. 
There's an amethyst right there. Here we have eight millimeter Prisaya then, Prisaiolite. We have this beautiful stone here, kind of cool, pinkish and clear. Here we have a couple earrings, some beautiful pearl earrings with gold, brand new, never worn, never, never graced an ear. Then we have these black pair here. Looks like they're all gold. Okay, we've got a lot of stones coming in here. Let's just get these over here and we can go one at a time. Purple, emerald, look at that. Michaela Jordan, Yes. when we are filming, you don't interrupt. You can comment when the video's out. Baby J, comment below when this video comes out. Michaela, don't talk when your dad's filming. I need you to do that, Baby J. Well, you just said comment, right? So that's what it means, right? Shout out to Michaela. She's here in the garage with me. Everybody watching uh, all this festivities. Look at that beautiful piece right there. Is that a diamond? And it's not in the right spot. It could be a raw diamond. I'll have to touch it. Diamonds, no diamonds, right? Diamond in the rough. I'm a diamond in the rough. Okay, that's a neat one. I'm uncertain about that. So many stones. Here's a look at that sapphire right there. And then we have what looks like that stone there. And that stone there is a purple heart. That is freaking amazing. So what we purchased here was Incredible grade and Burmese Peridot for 74, around yellow Kunzite for 124. And you could just see all of these are all the various things. Some of them are kind of cheap. Look, here's a Sky Topaz for 550 back in 2000. Oh, this one was 2007, early beginning of the year. And we're going to come over here. And that was a $2,000 receipt. Everything you see on this purchase and this tray. And I'm quite certain Ruby Emerald Sapphire Bead Necklace. I feel like that's in the other tray, don't you? Splendid ruby emerald sapphire bead necklace. I didn't see a necklace in here, so I'll have to line that up because obviously that made it out of there. Emerald, ruby emerald sapphire bead necklace. I have to look for that too. Oh, I have a bunch more. Okay, I know what it is. There's more coming. There's more coming. I think this is a two-part tray. I've not seen this stuff since I found it. Here we go, carrying on. Some beautiful pieces here. This one says it is a 1.35 carat princess cut WS citrine. This is a beautiful one of those. Here we're coming into some peridots maybe. Peridots, peridots. Again, as I stated, I'm sure some of these are going to be probably lab created. You never know how the world works. I don't know. I just know that I got all these stones. And I got some receipts. Look at these rubies. Raw rubies. I guess we're going to have to go like this because there's a bunch. Look at that ruby. Ooh, here's some bigger ones right here. Call me below if you hear Michaela in the background crumpling her paper. All right, what? This bag right here has nothing in it. What the heck happened there? Ooh, look at this one. That's different. That one's nice right there. Very large, very translucent. Mm, parcel of multicolor sapphires. Look at those, those are beautiful. Look at these. We got a purple and a red, or a pink almost. Okay, look at this. They just keep on coming. We got a couple raw emeralds here. And we got this beauty right here. And this is a large receipt here for all sorts of things. We got boom. We got those things. Opal cut strawberry pink rotolite garnet. And that was an eleven hundred dollar receipt there. Look at all these pinks, reds and pinks. Let's get a bunch of these right here. Pink, 
pink, red, blue. Ooh, here we go. So this is a 1.4 carat blue sapphire right here. This is a couple more beautiful little stones right here. Then you come in here and we start to get into some like this where they're all in these little containers. What do we have here? Oh, it's gone. But a woman must have liked that one. I'm <laughs> just kidding. She loves these things. She likes all of these gems. She does. She's a very big stone person. She likes plants and stones. That's one of her things. Look at that pink stone. And then you come in here and let's see what our receipts say. One for 81 bucks. One for 105 bucks. And we have one for $80. And this does not cover all of our stones we have here. Oh, here's another one for 514. So that might cover everything. We have another one. 239.51 for all of those things. These say they're two of two and one of two, so those are beautiful. Look at this one. It's got the pink inclusion inside of there. This one looks pretty nice. 1.46 carat. This looks like an emerald. 150 it says on the bottom. Oh, it looks tanzanite with a like a, a beetle burned into it. 3.9 carats. White sapphire, 3.3 carats, 16 pieces. Yellow sapphire, 17 carats. That's pretty nice. This is a beautiful pink stone. And that's that one. And we come on in here and we got what looks like a tanzanite, maybe. What looks like some type of emerald. What, I don't know. Could be peridots, peridots. These are just beautiful pieces. That's all I can tell you. Uh, it's, it's insane. I almost, that's why I also feel like almost, I don't want to bore anybody showing them just these stones, but I don't want to leave no stone unturned, right? The goal was to sell this whole set as a lot. So somebody gets the chance to see everything in its entirety. This is a 39.3 carat Swiss blue topaz. Here we have a 28 carat green amethyst, a red heart, ooh, some pearls, and this blue chunk of stone here. You got an emerald, no, what is that, a pink topaz? You got a gardenite, a rhodonite, rhodonite garnet, that's the, that one is a, a little bit of money. That one was a chunk, of money. that's like a four or $500 stone back in 2006, I think. There is a ruby. Here is a parabyte tourmaline. So yeah, my goal is two things I want to do here. I want to buy a home with the warehouse and I want a brand new truck. I want to either get a Dodge or a Ford F-350 or a Dodge Dually, something that only I've driven and something that will last me my lifetime and be able to just focus on work. This thing is freaking amazing. There are supposedly over 2,400 carats of stones in this beautiful piece. Don't know its value. I remember seeing the paper for it, but that is a lot of stones. 2,400 carats to make this one beautiful piece right here. Wicked, huh? I like that. What do you guys think about that piece right there? This I know this is exciting as it, as it is, but just wait. We haven't even warmed up yet. Wait, just wait. That's all I gotta say. Blue sapphire and ruby. Look at those two pieces. Those are nice. I think we're getting to the good stuff soon. This looks like a one carat ruby right here. Here we got, oh, look at that. Imperial topaz, 54 carats. Here's one singular pearl. We've got 
blue sapphire of two carats. Another blue sapphire at one and two fourths carats. A whole bag of rubies. Look, there's over 100 carats there. 966 pieces. That's pretty cool. Rough. For those who like it rough. Blue diamonds. Look at those. 0.28 carats, 8 pieces. These say enhanced on them. R diamond in the rough. Look at that. There is a 1.5 carat rough diamond right there. Here we have some more blue diamonds enhanced. Here we have a champagne diamond. This one is approximately a twelfth of a carat. This one is a purple diamonds and they are enhanced. Here we have a white diamond at a tenth of a carat. And then we have a diamond at a sixteenth or a 0.16. And we also have some purple diamonds enhanced. Okay, and this invoice here is for... $2,000 for this one here. And then that's it. That's the only receipt for this right here. All right, we're going to warm it up a little bit with some quality pieces. I want to show you guys some of these amazing ones. Check this one out. Blue, sapphire, and gold. I think I might have worn this once. I went somewhere and I went out for the night and I actually wore this. It's I like it, but it's too small. It looks too small on my fingers. I'd almost keep that. But it's definitely gold. A beautiful piece was brand new we have pieces like this look at this bad boy here let's take this one out too these are really nice pieces to me these are worth several hundred bucks fancy tourmaline and aquamarine 114 carats sterling silver brand spank and nubian this one is a fancy tourmaline and it's got beautiful pieces on it that's a couple hundred dollar piece this is probably one of the cheapest ones in here in my eyes because it's smallest but it's still not cheap cheap you know fancy sapphire 28.33 carats here we have these beautiful emerald and rubies right here this one is 62 carats here we have 24 carats emerald silver pendant Let's open this one up. I don't think I've pulled this out before. Oh, that is freaking nice. I'd almost rock that myself. Look at that. That's got to be... That's got to be minimum four or five hundred bucks right there. All those emeralds on there. Sterling silver. Nice strong clasp. This says it is emerald and 139 carats. 139 carats right there. This is a beautiful pendant right here. Rubies and emeralds. This bracelet right here is stunning. Stunting. I'll be stunting like my daddy. 213 carats here. Look at that piece. Yeah, so if you guys missed out and you want, I paid five thousand for this storage. You know, I probably got my close to my money back. Mm, I got a little bit of money. I wouldn't say close to my money back from the rest of the stuff, but I got pretty darn close. And then I have sold jewelry. I had actually I made profit on the on the costume jewelry. Now that I think about it, I remember I sold a lot of beautiful gold filled gold plated. I sold the cheaper things. I kept the gem collection separate and I just focused on the things that were not as uh, valuable as the overall collection. Look at that, 287 karat cubic zirconium. Wow. Then you come over here and we got a chrome imperial topaz. We've got this citrine tourmaline carvings. I try not to, I try to usually sell them, mostly I sell all the cheapest stuff. I rarely sell them, do I keep stuff or or put the, you know, when like, for example, if I was to get a card collection, I would probably pull two cards out and the rest I would just sell. If I, if I didn't make money on every single piece, it is what it is. But I only usually grade like one or two cards and then the rest I let go as a whole and somebody else makes money. That's my strategy for things. Look at that, a ruby one carat. Here is... A blue topaz, 37 carats. 
a blue diamond enhanced and a blue sapphire. The sapphire is 2.46 carats. Here we have two rubies at 1.2 carats and this one being a golden sapphire at 2.90. Look at this, it just keeps coming. Rubies, that is a, a almost carat ruby right there. Here you have a white amethyst. Here you have a blue sapphire. That's a good one right there too. In my opinion, that's a good one. It's gotta be a little bit of money there for 1.25 carats. What was this one too? 18 carat gold ring with the 19 carats in it. This is a yellow sapphire. And then we carry on here to the receipt. Always my favorite part. First, you have all of these things, a blue sapphire for 300. Some of it was, she got pretty cheap, you can see. She did everything via wholesale. She paid 1,900 for one section of this stuff, 18 karat gold ring she got for 250 in 2006. Bracelet was 220. Then we have, looks like she got the same thing twice. I don't see in here. She got the same order. 1990, maybe not. Maybe it's the same receipt there. Sure seems like a lot of stuff. Because there's more stuff in this tray than there is on this list. What do you guys think now so far and looking at this? All right. Look at all of these beautiful gems here. Let's go here. We have a sapphire. We have another sapphire. We have a ruby, a Bix bite. Wow, this is incredible. Potterosh's sapphire, pair of sapphires, a ruby, more rubies. We have blue sapphire, deep blue sapphire right there. We have this ruby right here again we have so many rubies look at that is a freaking star ruby 17 carats that's gotta be something right there all right we have some champagne's african sapphire and we have an orisa garnet orisa okay then we got two more pearls mm, quality ones there then we got a, what looks like a ruby of 1.3 carats a ruby, 3.29 carats of those. These ones look interesting. What do we have here? We want to see in here? I'll come back to that in a second. Look at that beautiful silver ring right there. That is a fancy sapphire, 25 carats. This is, ooh, crap. Star, ruby, natural, and L. 4.82 carats. That is wicked. I've never seen one of those. Let's get our knife here. And let's look inside of this one. I'm curious. Who? What the heck? Why did you do that? I don't know what they are, but they're they look like something that Superman would die from. You know, that's what that looks like. Let's see what we got here. This is a four hundred and thirty twenty three dollar receipt for a couple things. Here is an $1,100 receipt, no, $1,200 for a handful of things. Here is a $200 for a fancy sapphire silver ring and a ruby. And is that the only receipt here? Yes, it is. Here is another $200 receipt, which is probably the same thing. And it, once again, seems like we have more stuff than we have receipts for you can see how like this the same receipt i'm curious if like they smuggled different things and just called them that and passed it off you know how they do it huh? oh look at this look at these these are funner i think because they have the labels on them real quick to see it's pink sapphire 103 pieces freaking phenomenal here we have these right here blue diamonds Enhanced, 11, 0 0.11 of a carat. Here you have a champagne diamond. Nice. Here you have another champagne diamond. I can already tell. Yep. Boom. Here you have a ruby. Then we have 
a blue diamond. Here we have a blue diamond. This is pretty awesome. We have rubies and champagne diamonds. Here we have blue diamonds enhanced and baby champagne diamonds, all things diamonds. This isn't even my diamond tray. Wait till we get to like the diamond box, guys. Wait till we get to the diamond box, I'm telling you. Blue sapphire, purple diamond enhanced. That is a nice blue sapphire too, two and a half carats. That's something there. Like I said, I'm hoping that this either puts a nice dent towards the home or it gets me a good chunk of the brand new truck I want. One of those two things need to transpire. And that's what our goal here is behind starting to move forward with this stuff. 2006, she purchased all this stuff. Her $2,000 receipt. I think this might be part of the same one. Here's another fancy sapphire tourmal or fancy tourmaline. Look at that. 37 carats. This is a ruby. There it is. What are these? More rubies? Yep, they are. Blue sapphire, 1.78 carats. This is a 1.1 carat blue sapphire. Oh, wow. Diamond rough. Look at that. That's a cool colored one, too. Rough diamond, 0.94 carats. And then we have six pieces of sapphires at five. So these are a little under a carat right there. Each one of those sapphires right there. That's pretty tight right there. Just that little pile is nice in my eyes. This is probably one of the, the, the least monetary value, but still pretty cool. These are all different stones that are... Here's a Chopus Amber. Here is Amber Chiopus. More Amber from Chiopus. Here is more Amber Fetish. That's kind of funny. Oh, it's like a whole bunch of amber. We have amber, 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 cultured pearl, cultured pearl, cultured pearl. Look at all these just cultured pearls right here. Okay, that's kind of cool. Look, just cultured pearls and amber, guys. Look at all this choppus amber. I don't know how valuable that is, but it's still kind of cool. It's got to be a few bucks right there. Some tourmaline. Look at those. Okay, this is a little better than I thought they were. I was thinking these might not be all the some of the, the lesser stuff, but I think there could be some good value in across the board in this stuff. Tourmaline. We got tourmaline. Look at this. What are those? Gold earrings. Oh, well, that is freaking nice. Gold earring pieces. And some type of really nice stone for 30 bucks. The blue star sapphire. We have agate. Lapis Liuzzi, she paid 45 bucks for that back in the day. Continuing on, Black Star Sapphire. Look at those quartz pieces. Ooh, my body's hurting now from standing here. We got gem gravel, that's funny. That's like the gem gravel you get at the bottom. And then a Biwa pearl. And the other thing that was hard for me is I don't know nothing about this stuff. Like, I don't know what this stuff is worth. I don't really know how to, it's a lot of work looking up each end of it. Okay, yeah, this is good. I was looking for these earlier. We had got some stuff earlier that had... I'm going to lay all these out here. All right, I got this little packet right here all kind of lined up to see at one time. Because it just like... Whew, it just gets overwhelming, all these gems, right? You don't even know where to begin. What to do with them. Where to start. A lot of beautiful pieces to be made here. Okay, I'm going to carry on here. We got some more. Another ruby... Looks like a citrine. And then these were the necklaces that were in, that I was looking for earlier. This is the one, so maybe this one's open. I can probably open this. Let's see how this works. There's, what are those on top of that? Maybe it is a necklace. Maybe it's blue. Or maybe they had left the rope to tie for whoever wants it and that's why it's like that as a beautiful piece though it claims to be 229 carats whatever it is and then this one as well looks to be let's open it up look at that that's a lot of stones right there and then probably has something to tie it there this claims to have doesn't say it's ruby and so oh, 562 carats Holy smokes. 
That is a lot right there. I want to see what this price tag over here says. Let's get this out. One forty-nine for something. Purple amethyst. That's right there. And then that right there. So there's a two thousand dollar receipt for some wholesale from ho some wholesale gem dealer. And I'm guessing, okay, that goes here. And then these must be a separate receipt here. We got some Molly, Molly, multicolor, cherry pink garnet, three carats. We've got ooh, green tossing of garnet. Look at that. That's beautiful. We've got green tabasonite, green tabersite. Those look rough. A golden sunset. Who don't love a good golden sunset? More sapphires. So many sapphires. We got a Sanjia ruby. We got a Sanjia ruby. Those are pretty beautiful there. That is a Bix bite. And another ruby. I got, I got every ruby you need right there. Like this is a Parpadisha. Parpadasha. Pair of sapphire Papadishnia. Bix bite. A couple more coming up here. Ruby. Pink Sapphire, Bix Bite, Ruby, Aquamarine. All right, that was a huge one there. What does this say? This says, holy moly guacamole. That one says total of 32. A lot of uncut rough red. And then it comes over here with a $3,266 receipt there and then what else is this one another 152 for a rough red big spite all right so i mean that's a lot of money is just adding up and then like i said not all of them even have receipts not all these have receipts either because i'm quite sure those receipts were for this and then this one that was what was this one two thousand so that's like five thousand total probably right this one and obviously it's 1100 um yeah this one separated that and these went in a whole nother bag. I remember now, like I was looking for these earlier. So these went with another bag. And then just set those nicely in there, Michael. Those were the different receipt those necklaces were. All right, this, oh, this is the diamonds. Okay. This is a, a one carat champagne diamond. This is a 0.12 carat diamond. This is a champagne diamond, probably. Here is another... Diamond in the rough, 0.85 carats. Here is a diamond in the rough, 0.96 carats. Here we have some enhanced blue diamonds. We have another champagne diamond. We have some enhanced purple diamonds, probably, I'm going to guess. Yep, pink diamonds, enhanced. Those are 0.12 carats. Here you have more champagnes, little babies. Those are real, but they're not very big. We have blue, I think, and, and that means like lab crate. I don't know what enhanced means to be off the top of my head. Then you come over here, you got lots more diamonds. These are all chocolate diamonds and so forth, champagne diamonds, rough diamonds here, a champagne diamond, another diamond. You got this bad boy right here. It almost looks like a green diamond a little bit. Got a green one, another champagne. There's a lot of champagnes and colorful diamonds. Look at these. These are rough diamonds. A red one, a yellow one. This is a three carat rough diamond. This is a 1.75 rough diamond. This is more diamonds. You got a half a carat champagne diamond. You got 0.72 carat diamond seven pieces of diamonds there another two and a half carat rough diamond and more rough diamonds look there's 2.6 carats of rough diamonds there and i guess we got a receipt here so let's see what this says 208 that's just for one piece maybe these don't have a lot of receipts because a lot of this doesn't come with receipts sadly it's kind of sucks pink diamond enhanced was 43 dollars it's easy when they have receipts, but when they don't have receipts, then it's a guessing game. Ooh, look at these pearls. That's a diamond right there, I think. And then these are some beautiful pieces here. That's a Kaisha pearl or something. 
Well, those could be pricey to eat too. Don't underestimate them. A blue sapphire 2 and 13 carats. That's pretty freaking nice. And we have a blue sapphire 1.6 carats. And then we have a $206 receipt here. Is that what that is? Yeah, let me pull this out. For pearls, 36, a brulette diamond. Okay. And we have this one moosey emerald. This was pretty cheap, it looks like. And yeah, 2007. And then we got a commercial invoice for two blue sapphires for 345. Now for what his, to me, these, gem, these gems had the biggest price tags on them when I looked individually. And this is exactly how I found them too. They were all in this box together like this. So that's why I've kept them together. First off, here's one emerald. None of these had receipts that the, they were all in here. Okay. This one here is 12 freaking carats, guys. That's a 12 carat emerald. I'm uncertain of its value, but I think it's one of the nicer ones. Let's touch it. Okay. Then carrying on, we have these peridot earrings and some round peridots. Peridots, peridots. Here is another emerald. My hair on my hand was standing on my felt it. You got exotic tanzanite. And then you got this beautiful tanzanite here. Then you have these pieces here, which are priscillite gemstones. Amethysts right here. Gemstones right here. Carrying on, you have exotic rubies. We have some beautiful pieces here. These are raw tanzanites. And then we got some beautiful tanzanites here. Look at that. that is a one carat. This one is, now we have this bad boy right here. Check this one out. This one I think is a good one. Natural blue sapphire. Weight is two carats. And then we have this bad boy here, which says a replacement value of 3,900. And it has all this beautiful stuff from 2005. Trillion cut. Pretty, pretty neat. Pretty neat in my eyes. And then what's this one? Oh yeah, here we have a two carat tanzanite. Replacement value, 1800. I'm not done, I got a couple more things here. Now let me just, show. I'm gonna go run through some real, two more trays of jewelry, I have them set aside. May have seen them dabbled in somewhere in a video, but this was also in the same collection. That's just the gems. Now to see the gold gem jewelry that came with this. I won't spend a whole lot of time going through these. Let's take a quick glance at these. These pieces came inside this collection as well. Beautiful retail price rings. I don't know where that stands in reality because these are um, these are retail prices, right? Retail is retail. And in jewelry, we all know that jewelry is marked up. Beautiful stuff though. This is part of this collection. The lady was some type of gem dealer. Maybe she was a smuggler, I don't know. Aquamarine, that is freaking nice. Who knows what she did? Look at these bad boys, right? And then you come over here and they have like a, those have a $3,800 price tag. You got this bad boy right here. And then you have this beautiful amethyst. But I'm gonna try to sell these with the collection if the person wants to buy them. I got to start making my moves. It could be possibly bought as a whole collection or it could just be the gems, we'll see. They might not want these pieces here. This one's nice and brand new, but it's missing a stone there. I thought that was whack. This is a pretty nice little bracelet. Pretty sure it's 14 karat gold. We have settings here. Oh, this one's not a setting. This one's an aquamarine. This one's a setting. Beautiful ring right here. Is there any more in here? No. Okay. Then what's this one? Yeah, this was another one. We found two of them. Okay. Got some nice little gems like this. Little 14 karat pendant. And mind you, the little woman has gotten a few pieces out of this. This one right here, I'll show you this in a second. This has a, a crazy price tag on it, but it is 14 karat. And that's what trips me out about this stuff. This thing like this just made me put it aside for now and wait till the right time when we really need to buy. When it's time to do what I gotta do. And that time is fast approaching. Everybody keeps asking for updates and it's just 
we haven't had a chance to deal with it yet because my credit's been fixing itself. If you remember when I went home as a couple years ago, I had to fix, that's the price tag, look. I had to fix my credit. I had to walk away from it in order for us to get our life back on track. So now that's been a setback from buying, is waiting for credit to be good. And this is pretty much the just of this entire collection at this point. These will be something separate, maybe these two trays here of jewelry. This one is not part of this collection. Somehow that must have fell out of one of my other pieces when I go into my safe deposit box. I gotta try to keep everything in 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 its own good little section for this. It's Cause I have stuff that's my savings and I have this that I've been saving to sell. It's a, a different, right? One of them is, this is my investment for the future. The other is like, I'm buying a house. This is now officially for sale. This is the first reveal of this awesome collection. Like I said, I've, this is over a year I bought this unit and I never showed all this because this unit kind of made me a little bit nervous off the bat. That's why I went and put everything in a safe deposit box. This is not something you want to keep lying around the house, right? I don't know any, maybe somebody, else, maybe better to be wiser. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments section. I feel that retail, realistically, this woman spent probably 50 grand on all this stuff. If you start adding up all the receipts, a lot of it doesn't have receipts. A lot of it's really nice. In my opinion, there's worth over $50,000 and stuff there. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you would sell it for. Let me know if you want to buy it. Just kidding. I love y'all. Thanks for watching. Blessings. Ha <sighs>